I met my wife nearly 40 years ago. I was making a movie in Montana called Rancho Deluxe, and we were shooting a scene in a place called Chico Hot Springs outside of Livingston, Montana, in a beautiful place called Paradise Valley. We were sitting there doing this scene, and um, I can't stop looking at this gorgeous, uh, I didn't know if she was a guest at the hotel, a waitress, a maid, or I couldn't figure out what she was. She had two black eyes and a broken nose, too, and I just couldn't take my eyes off her. And you know that thing that the guys do where they, you know, you have got a, you know, a, a magazine or something up there, and then you, you know, use that as kind of a shield to, you know, look, you know, steal a look. She would bust me every time, you know. But finally, I get the guts to go ask her out. I said, would you like to go out tonight, you know? You know no. Oh. Yeah, it's a small town. You know, maybe I'll see you around, she says. I say, oh, okay. A few nights later, I'm in a bar, and sure enough, there she is, and we danced, and uh, that was about it, man. I mean, I was head over heels. I, I was head over heels the first time I saw her, you know. We've been married about 10 years, and I get a, um, a letter uh, from the makeup man of uh, Rancho Deluxe, this movie I met Sue on. And I open it up and he says, uh, I was going through my files and I came upon this uh, shot I took of you asking a local girl out. I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? And then out of this envelope falls these two pictures of the first words I ever spoke to my wife. I have them in my pocket. They're my prized possession to have pictures. What are the odds of that? Look at that, isn't she gorgeous?